assalamu alaikum students this is the part 2 of egyptian civilization this one was last slide of uh, mummification now next one is egyptian clothing and jewelry <coughs> egyptian use dresses they use white simple dress made of linen rich wore fine woven linen male wore line cloths from waist waist to knees upper class also um, wore skirts women wore simple white tight fitting cloths rich ladies also wore shawls and um, embroidered co collars egyptian also wore Uh, sandals made from leather or reed Egypt is a hot country and so people wore light weight cloths which kept them cool we can see what they wore from the many paintings and sculptures they left behind the egyptian climate with its hot summers and mild winters favor light clothing made from plant fibers predominantly linen the manufactures of cloths was apparently mostly women's work it was generally done at home but there were workshops run by noblemen or other men of means the most important textile was linen it was produced from flax the quality ranging from the finest woven linen the basis for royalty to the coarse cloth peasants wore most young children went around completely naked when they were 6 years old they began to wear cloths that would protect them from the intense dry heat and in men clothing especially poor people most cloths were made from linen made from flax men wore a loin cloth a bit like a skirt these sometimes had a belt the design of these changed through the ages rich people rich people would sometimes wear a shirt they wore makeup jewelry and head dresses for special occasions the pharaoh also wore animal skins such as leopard over their shoulders as a sign of wealth men and women were wore jewelry because they thought it made them look pleasing to the gods in addition to iron gold and gemstones archaeologists believe that some jewelry was even made from fragments of meteorite amulets were worn for good luck and now about their makeup rich egyptians wore makeup they would use green or blue mineral powder as eye shadow and would use a dye called henna to redden their lips and nails a black eyeliner called kohl was also worn to deflect the sun's glare and prevent eye infections shoes ancient egyptians went barefoot most of the time for special occasions men and women wore sandals made of plaited reeds these are the images of jewelry dresses
agriculture a combination of a favorable geographical features contributed to the success of ancient Egyptian culture, the most important of which was the rich fertile soil resulting from annual inundations of the Nile River. The ancient Egyptians were thus able to produce an abundance of food. Farming in Egypt was dependent on the cycle of the Nile River. The Egyptians recognized three seasons. Ahat means flooding. Parat means planting. And Shemu means harvesting. Flooding, planting and harvesting. The flooding season lasted from June to September. The growing season lasted from October to February. From March to May, farmers used sickles to harvest their crops, which were then threshed with a flail to separate the straw from the grain. Food Agriculture The ancient Egyptians cultivated emmer and barley and several other cereal grains, staple food crops, especially grains such as wheat and barley, all of which were used to make the two main food staples of bread and beer. Flax plants uprooted before they started flowering were grown for the fibers of their stems. Livestock was important to the Egyptian economy, supplying meat, milk, hides and dung for cooking fuel. A variety of vegetables were grown and eaten by the ancient Egyptians, including onion, leeks, garlic, beans, lettuce, lentil, cabbage, radish and turnips. They ate fruit as a dessert and they include melons, plums, figs, grapes, raisins and dates. The ancient Egyptian civilization was among the first to regard hunting and fishing as both a sport and a source of food. Because of the Nile River, fishing was also present. Marriages and their duties Girls married in the age of 12 to 14, boys married in the age of 16 to 20. Marriages usually arranged and in family for the sake of purification of blood, internal marriages. Responsible for parents, they were uh, the couples were uh, responsible for parents' uh, burial and funeral. After death, they take care of their wives, provide in their old age, followed father's footstep, and took the same job. Usually, boys uh, do same job like their fathers. Transportation The Egyptian did not build roads to travel around the, their empire. They didn't need to because nature had already built them a super highway right through the middle of their empire called the Nile River. Most of the major cities in ancient Egypt were located along the banks of the Nile River. As a result, the Egyptians used the Nile for transportation and shipping from very early on. They used boats to uh, transport the things and people from one city to another. They became expert at building boats and navigating the river. They uh, started, uh, we see early boats in their uh, images. In their paintings they made wooden boats they also made cargo ships and funeral boats for uh, uh, funeral uh, process and other means of transportation were walking ferries litters carts sledges beasts of burden and shipping 
these are some images of transportation law in ancient egypt the court system were very unfair noble men and rich also judges and tax collectors used their power to control other people and for their own gods the pharaohs made many strict rules and harsh punishments so that the citizens will stay in control poor people were not good in pharaoh's time houses most ancient egyptian lived in an area concentrated along the lower portion of nile river in north eastern africa which is now modern day egypt the houses they lived in were made of bricks and had no foundations the bricks were made of mud and chopped straw molded and dried in the hot egyptian sun they were not baked in fire or uh, terracotta technique egyptian civilization architecture the ancient egyptians built their pyramids tombs temples and palaces out of stone the most durable of all building materials stone was most durable material these are some images of houses you can see mud bricks lower story upper story windows stair boundary walls all you can see and in some architecture stone was used education system few upper class boys went to school 1% of population able to read and write they taught scribes also taught elementary mathematics geography and astronomy we find no evidence for the teaching of foreign language draftsmen they were scribes who specialized in drawing they followed a formula that they followed a formula that makes standing and sitting figures look stiff using a traditional grid of 18 squares they sketched squares they sketched figures according to be a predetermined pattern making no attempt to show perspective the eyes and shoulders are drawn from the front even in three profile uh, portrait and the face torso arms and legs whenever you see the humans of egyptian uh, you see that the whole body is if in front of you the face will be in three profile sacred text known as the pyramid texts were written on the inner passages and the walls of the burial chamber they were intended to help the pharaohs travel through the afterworld to secure regeneration and eternal life regeneration and the pyramid texts are considered the oldest body of religious writings in the world next education field is mathematics although the egyptians lacked the symbol of zero they calculated numbers based on the decimal and the uh, repetitive number based on the power of 10 the following signs were used to represent numbers in the decimal system numbers in the decimal system 1 10 100 1000 10000 so on numbers were usually written left to right starting with the highest denominator for example in the number 2525 the first number to appear in the left would be 2000 then 520 and 5 as follows 
The Egyptians did not develop abstract mathematical formulas. They used the simple arithmetic of addition and subtraction. Astronomy Like many ancient peoples, the Egyptians studied night sky, taking measurements from the stars to accurately align their pyramids and sun temples with the earth, four cardinal points. The Great Pyramid at Gaza provides an example. This remarkable building has a footprint of over 13 acres and consists of approximately 6.5 million limestone blocks. Its four sides are accurately aligned to face north, east, south and west with an error of less than half a degree. They are also virtually identical in length with less than a 20 centimeter. They make this structure keenly and very calculated medicines. Ancient Egyptian physicians were renowned in the ancient Near East for their healing skills and some such as emotive remained famous long after their deaths. There was a high degree of specialization among Egyptian physicians with some treating only the head or the stomach while others were eye doctors and dentists. It means that they were specialized in a specific field Training of physicians took place at the Per Ankh or House of Life institution, most notably those headquartered in Per Bastit during the New Kingdom and at Abydos and Seas in the late period. Medical papyri show empirical knowledge of anatomy injuries and practical treatments. Now about their architecture. The architecture of ancient Egypt includes some of the most famous structures in the world. One is uh, Great Pyramid of Giza and the temples of Thebes. Building projects were organized and founded by the state for religious and commemorative purposes but also to reinforce the power of the pharaoh. The ancient Egyptians were skilled builders using simple but effective tools and sighting instruments. Pyramids were built during the Old and Middle Kingdoms. The 25th dynasty was a notable exception as all 25th dynasty pharaohs constructed pyramids. These are the images of their pyramids and other architectural structures. Solid huge stone uh, pillars, slab of stones were used. You can see the figures, solid, identical and rigid in a sitting position. No movement. Now about animals. The Egyptians believed that a balanced relationship between people and animals was an essential element of the cosmic order. Animals both domesticated and wild were therefore a critical source of spirituality, companionship and sustenance. Uh, Cattle were the most import important livestock. The administration collected tax on livestock. Egyptians also kept sheep, goats and pigs. Poultry such as ducks, geese and pigeons were captured in nets and bred on farms. The Nile provided a plentiful source of fish. Bees were also domesticated and they provide both honey and wax.
natural sources. Egypt is rich in building and decorative stone, copper and lead ores, gold and semi-precious stones. These natural resources allowed the ancient Egyptians to build monuments, sculpt statues, make tools and fashion jewelry. There were extensive gold mines in Nubia. Flint was the first mineral collected and used to make tools. Noodles of the mineral were carefully flaked to make blades and arrowheads. Even after copper was adopted for this purpose, ancient Egyptians were among the first to use minerals such as sulfur as cosmetic substances. Trade Trade of Egyptian Civilization The ancient Egyptians engaged in trade with their foreign neighbors to obtain rare exotic goods not found in Egypt. In the pre-dynastic period, they established trade with Nubia to obtain gold and incense. They also established trade with Palestine, an Egyptian colony stationed in southern Canaan, dates to slightly before the first dynasty. By the second dynasty, at least ancient Egyptian trade with Byblos yielded a critical source of quality, quality timber not found in Egypt. By the fifth dynasty, trade with Punt provided gold, aromatic raisins, ebony, ivory and wild animals such as monkeys and baboons. Egypt relied on trade with Anatolia for essential quantities of tin as well as supplementary supplies of copper, both metals being necessary for the manufacture of bronze. Language and Writing System Historical development, the Egyptian language is a northern Afro-Asiatic language closely related to the Barbar and Semitic languages. Hieroglyphics writing dates from 3000 BC and is composed to hundreds of symbols. A hieroglyph can represent a word, a sound or a silent determinative and the same symbol can serve different purposes in different contexts. Hieroglyphs were a famous script used on stone monuments and in tombs that could be as detailed as individual works of art. Heretic was always written from right to left, usually in horizontal rows. These are the images of their writing. Now we see what were the reasons of their decline. There were different reasons. Anthropocentric causes, weak pharaohs, the duration of priest class, foreign invasions, foreigners came, uneven distribution of wealth, as priests and pharaohs uh, were the um, uh, uh, wealthy people. Sign of troubles. Damage of the hieroglyphs. Weak militia. Non-anthropocentric causes. Means environmental changes, floods and disasters. Lack of food due to floods and uh, environmental changes, food becomes short. Lack of flood, sometimes flood not came. 
sandstorms due to desert there were many sandstorms these are some links for further studies further readings thank you student for listening